Hi, welcome to the Virgo Show. I'm Sherry Hansen, and I have with me this evening Miss Catherine Canoodala, Miss Minnesota. Thank you, yes. Catherine. And you know, Catherine, I have not gotten the chance to personally congratulate you. I am so happy for you. Thank you. And and, and when I stop and think about it, um, Virgus, um, you started out in Virgus, didn't you, as Princess I did, Altona? I did, Princess Altona with the blue braces and mm -hmm. awkwardness, but it was such a <laughs> wonderful opportunity for me. And I just fell in love with that town and with the title and was Miss Virgus a few years later, mm -hmm. so I owe all of this to Virgus. Well, it started there anyway, you didn't it? Yes. You know, you owe a lot of it to your hard work, is what you... That too, but... That too. But that got with the you support going. of everybody. Oh yes, and I, um, I'm just, I'm just so happy for you. And and tonight we are just, at, we're at this wonderful place. Yeah. Uh, we're at the home of Rich and Mary McCrady's, and they're doing a, a dinner for you and they a fundraising are. dinner to go with your platform. Yes. And I think they're billing it Vegas to Vegas. And so th with that, tell me all about it. <laughs> My platform is entitled Inspiring America, Crowning the Good in Your Neighborhood. And I partner it also with Miss America's National Partnership, which is the Children's Miracle Network. Mm -hmm. And I've set it a goal for myself to raise $15,000 this year for the Children's Miracle Network. Of course, I'd love to exceed that, mm -hmm. but that's partly what we're doing here tonight. All of the, the people that will be invited here tonight, we're having it a fundraiser for the Children's Miracle Network. And a nice dinner where I get to share my talent of piano composing. I have an original CD that I'm selling for $10. Um, and it's on the website whohasinspiredyou.com. So you can get your copy of the CD and your money will go directly to the Children's Miracle Network. And mm -hmm. they make great Christmas presents and birthday presents. But idea. part of what I'm doing with my platform also is traveling across the state of Minnesota and highlighting stories of inspiration of everyday Americans that are doing inspiring things and putting those stories up on whohasinspiredyou.com. So you can also read those stories there. Oh, that's wonderful. And I bet, I bet some of the stories are just even even more inspiring for you every they time. They are. Every time I meet someone that's been nominated, it touches my heart. And I'm changing as a person throughout this year. And I'm never going to forget the people mm -hmm. that I've met and how they've touched my, my life. And I even wrote a song that's on the CD for all of those people that have inspired me and have believed in me throughout the years. Oh, Catherine, that's wonderful. Now tell me a little bit about your talent, Catherine. How did you get started and, and what you're doing yes. with it? When I was five years old, my parents sat my sisters and I down and they said, you're taking piano lessons <laughs> and you can't quit until you're 18. Did and they really? Yes. Good parents right there, yes. So yes, parents, don't let your children quit the music lessons. But And I never wanted to quit. I loved it. We drove from Detroit Lakes to Thief River Falls every weekend to take piano lessons from my Aunt Marcia. And so not only did I learn the importance of music and that God gave me this gift and to give it back to others, but I also learned how to teach music. And so I have my own piano studio of 14 students and I teach them as often as I can get back. They understand my schedule can be a little bit crazy, but... It's just so awesome to see where I started and how I've, how I've come. And then I started writing music when I was about 14. And I go to school at McNally Smith College of Music, where I'm a composition major, emphasizing in movie scores. So when you watch a movie, hopefully I'll be writing the music that, oh, you, that's exciting. that you hear. So that's what I'm going to school for, and I'll finish there next year. You will. OK, now have you had to take a year off? I do, yes. Miss Minnesota is a full-time job. So I'm in almost a different city or a different town every day. Throughout the state of Minnesota. Yes. And, um, yeah, but you take a part of home here with you to yes, each of those, don't you? Isn't I do. that kind of fun? And I am in this area so often. I still mm -hmm. obviously have my piano studio, and then I'm the music director at Sacred Heart Catholic Church. So anytime I don't have an appearance, or if I can kind of schedule an appearance around mm -hmm. this area, I try to do so. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so you were crowned in June? Yes, June 19th. June 19th. You won't forget that date. <laughs> I won't. Never, ever. And what are you doing to prepare as you get ready for Miss America? I think that I have been preparing for Miss America my entire life. I think you're right. <laughs> so it's just mostly um, to the last minute, of course, throwing in some workouts, making mm -hmm. sure I'm physically fit, but um, just working my platform as much as possible because as Miss America, I want to have a concert in every state of the United States highlighting people that are doing inspiring works and highlighting stories from the Children's Miracle Network because there's over 170 hospitals across the United States. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's the perfect way to showcase the servant aspect of Miss America. So many people forget they think it's a beauty pageant and it's so much more than that it's it a is. scholarship program miss america gives over 45 million dollars in scholarship each year i'll mm -hmm. have received almost twenty thousand dollars in scholarship throughout my years of competing which my parents are very happy about and so am i well it is and it gives so you opportunities you wouldn't have had otherwise. absolutely and so i think that's that's the biggest thing is just making sure that i have a marketing plan that i can show miss america and the judges why i'm the best for the job and whether or not i'm given the title it's been such a wonderful opportunity 
opportunity to even have the chance to compete for Miss America. Oh, that's wonderful. And when is Miss America? Yes, tune in to your TVs on ABC January 15th. Okay, so you've got a little bit of time a to prepare. A little bit. I will and, be here soon. And so um, you've got just a little bit of time to prepare, and we're going to be watching for you, Catherine. And thank I just, you. I just am so pleased that you were able to join us today. Of course. And um, we thank the McCradys for opening their home up. And um, Catherine, we're going to take a break here, and we'll okay. be right back. All right. Make Virgus 66 Gas and Convenience your next stop. They have pay at the pump with the highest octane gasoline with no ethanol. There's also groceries, movie rentals, ATM bait, and the Virgicelli's Deli featuring hot stuff and take and bake. Virgus 66 Gas and Convenience, we put the gas in Virgus. Okay, we're back with the Virgus Show, and we're back with Catherine Knudel of Miss Minnesota. Thank you, Catherine. And yes. as you can see, she's sitting at the piano, so you're going to get a special treat here on the Virgus Show. Um, we just really are happy that you are with us today. And just tell me one more time what your platform is. Absolutely. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get to hear part of Catherine's piece from the, that she performed at Miss Minnesota. Well, my platform is entitled Inspiring America, Crowning the Good in Your Neighborhood, and you can nominate someone that has inspired you on my website, whohasinspiredyou.com. So again, that's whohasinspiredyou.com. You can also read stories of people that have been nominated, and I've visited them as Miss Minnesota, and we've highlighted those stories in my Night of Inspiration concerts. And this is actually the piece that I'll be performing for Miss America. Oh, it's an wonderful. original piece that is on my CD. That you can also purchase on whohasinspiredyou.com, all of the proceeds, proceeds benefiting the Children's Miracle Network. And this is a great opportunity for me to get practice because um, this is an original composition, so it's really exciting. Oh. I'm the only contestant out of all of the contestants at Miss America that's doing a, her own piece on Don't the piano. Just, oh, wow. And it's entitled Quintessence, which means the purest essence of itself. And I believe that's what inspiration is. Wonderful. Well, you're an inspiration to many, Catherine, and so I just really appreciate this opportunity. So you have a good day in Virgus and enjoy.